All right, coming up next, it's a welterweight showdown between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. So here is the longtime mixed martial artist, Stockton, California's Nate Diaz, a Gracie Jiu Jitsu fighter, a lot of great submission skills, but largely known for his boxing as well. He can take a shot, he can certainly dish one out, he'll lean on the chin as well, and of course, no bigger moment in his career than when he submitted Conor McGregor on less than two weeks' notice at UFC 196. Nathan Diaz making the walk once again tonight. Nate Diaz has outstanding cardio, a long reach, excellent striking, and a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. This combination of skills has kept him amongst the best in the world at 155 pounds. With self-belief for days, here is the notorious Conor McGregor, simultaneous two-division champion in the UFC. Nobody has done that before. Probably the best left hand in the game, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you do not want to get hit with that left from the notorious Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. McGregor is 29, Diaz is 32. He is three inches taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an ultimate fighter season winner, Nick Diaz. And now introducing his opponent. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding his professional record on. 11 wins, 1 loss. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Fight. All right, we are getting underway here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. So here is Conor McGregor once again. You know about the physical gifts, but in the past, he has beaten guys mentally before they even make the... Oh! Back to his feet, Joe, but man, is he hurt. And now starting to snap off that jab. Big punches. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh! Diaz gets hit by that leg kick. He is 
Cut above the eye here. Clean punch. All of those are blocked. How about that shin? Huge uppercut misses. Oh, he did a nice job avoiding the clinch. He doesn't want to hang out there. Beautiful leg right kick. He counters with a big hook. He hurt him with that hook. He's doing a great job blocking these shots. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. Wow! He's, hurt. he's got him hurt here. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Big body shot, body! Yes, take down! Just over three minutes now to go in round one. He moved into full mount. And very effective with the ground and pound. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got Attacking caught there. with the arm bar. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Throw the leg over the face. He's got that pretty good. That's pretty tight. This arm bar looks nasty. He might have to tap any second now. Excellent technique here, got the arm bar and got the tap. Yeah, Joe, I would agree. High level stuff, the way he worked there to isolate the arm, secure it, and ultimately force the tap. The arm bar finish comes here in this round. Hard to do it much prettier than he did just there. And here's the end of the fight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. We go back inside the Ladies octagon for the official the decision. It resides with... Two minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. The no So, and still your UFC lightweight champion, the notorious Conor McGregor, finding a way yet again, seemingly with the odds stacked against him, to get his hand raised. He has had doubters every step of the way, and he has muted nearly all of them at this point in time. Big stage, bright lights, and yet again, the brightest star, the notorious Conor McGregor. Congratulations on a big win here tonight.